Yeah. 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 Pretend. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the, uh, was that a lot of service or something? Like I didn't do anything. Like 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 no, it's like, like a pretend to pass it for that. Like the Meverse for football. Yeah, the Meverse. Yeah, they're keeping that service going. Also, I didn't really have time. I'm like, did you just have time to follow? So, what is the whole like, release plan? Mm. Uh, come on. Uh, so, <laughs> the release plan is yeah, basically a month. We've got 50 yeah. copies of the game Sweet. made right now. Uh, we're kind of figuring out if we're going to do another, like, X amount. Who knows? Might just do a bunch, like. It did turn out really good. Yeah. Like a yeah, hundred, a couple hundred, I don't know, yeah. and just kind of have them. Uh, we're still figuring out if we're gonna, like, how we're gonna do, like, doing like, online selling or just kind of like word of mouth right now. Like. What about that uh, retro room that Kyle uses? You thought about that or asked about that? Yeah, we kind of self-published ourselves, so we don't really need a publisher at this point because it's already. Oh, is he? Is that considered a publisher? He, oh yeah, I suppose he kind of publishes the games. Yeah, he? I think that's. I think that's what Retro Room does. So the carts, um, do you have a cart there? This one's the flasher. There might be some Discord one here. Yeah, I'll bust out this guy. Uh, we have... have this weird issue with this oh yeah, let's save it after that cardboard didn't like Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that's like the, uh, the PAL version. So, this cart is a... It's just one of the knockoff game carts. Um, we wanted to get some that didn't have branding on it. We wanted purple carts. Um, so Thomas, uh, our friend who's doing all the retro engineering, he did like a spray paint job on these. So we get the purple. And then we ordered the stickers from uh, Sticker Mule. And uh, yeah, we sort of custom made all the cart. Uh, the chips, they're just kind of uh, AliExpress chips or whatever, because we wanted to have this shaped cart and be able to flash to the cartridge. So, and yeah, that's, cool. that's, How many that's the cards. Oh, the book. So we've got a bunch of those met ready now. We just have to finish folding up all the boxes. And, uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Yeah, and we just finished. Uh, yeah, it's very cool having the game in a physical thing. thing. Yeah, yeah, we're really proud of this. The instruction manual just got finished. Oh, that's nice. So it's like 24 pages. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, because like, it shows you like, you know, in color and everything. So is this a Game Boy Color game or Game Boy? Yeah. It's Game Boy Color. Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure because it was the, the purple card. Yeah, I guess you can go translucent if you wanted purple. Oh, yeah, yeah. We did. We used like an old school Game Boy card. I mean, there was that transition period. Like, I think Pokemon Gold and Silver have those. Um, yeah, there's like Warrior Land 2 and the black card. I thought like the black cards, which were the uh, intermediate stage. Because I know after, well, once the Game Boy Color was released, they created oh, this like, a, um, some game games that were black cards that are compatible with both the original yeah, Game Boy and Color. Yeah, it's sort of like that. Yeah. yeah. Although the problem is that they couldn't take advantage of the full set of the color features. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah. yeah. But the ones, the, the related ones were translucent gray cards. Are those were fully? Those were only have have Game Boy Color and Advance. Nice man. They tended to yeah use the full features. The and I know that some Game Boy 